imagine, I don't know what you guys were doing 18 years ago, but just thinking about it. 18 years ago, I was winning my title and fighting two guys in the same night. And just watching all this, you know, for me, it's a joy. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm living my dream with 36 years old. And guess what, today is, it's a way like, my dream is not just mine. It, it's something that I share. It's something that fans would, fans that today they will know, they will study, who was, who is that guy, Vito Belfort? You know, I'm inspiring so many guys. But the, the beautiful thing is like, just to perform, and to be able to do it again the third time and, and make history. Nobody never win titles in three weight, weight divisions and and that's what's gonna happen in 2014. I'm focused, motivated, joy. You can see it in my eyes, you can see it in my, and, and, and it's, it's already done, you know. It's all dominating the day, winning the day, and, and be ready every day. What do you think about Chris Weidman? Have you started breaking him down as a contender in the matchup itself, the fight itself? You know, like, I'm a type of guy that I fight to win. You know, if you study the, the animals in the jungle, you know, some animals, they hunt and they all that, but the, the most dangerous animal, and that's why they call the king of the jungle, is the lion, because he's unpredictable. And that's what, I'm unpredictable. People are thinking now the kick, it comes the hand, and then they think this, and come the wrestling, then come jiu-jitsu. You know, I, I thank God for, for, for giving me the strength, the ability. I know without him, it would be impossible to do that. It would be impossible. I know people say, you could, no, I'm not crazy, I just recognize something. If you recognize that you are faithful to the principles, if you live by principle, recognize something that has been given to me, talents and the gifts, and, and I honor that. I honor my wife and my children, and I honor my job. I honor the people that are around me, you know, my trainers, my, you know, so we do it again. I mean, I'm, well, I'm, I'm doing it, the cage is just one side. The jungle can go any country. And that place is mine, I'm confident, I'm, I'm, doesn't matter the place. I have fans everywhere, you know, I have loyal fans people that they, are, they know what I'm made for and I have all the respect for, for the sport, for all you guys, you know, how much hard you work and how much you put into this and I'm realizing my dream and, and, you, and you're part of that and you're giving up to all these guys and everywhere, in all countries, you know, America, China, Russia, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Brazil, Mexico, you know, we're going everywhere so I, I, I'm, I'm part of all countries. I come from an area that they have had time. It's about it's defining yourself. You know, no even no rules. You know, so right now is I'm representing uh, uh, nations. I'm representing the world. So I consider myself that's my jungle, the octagon, and, 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 and that jungle is mine. Forgive me if somebody had already asked this, but I was curious um, what your reaction was to seeing Anderson Silva's leg break like that. Oh man, I was sad. I was sad. I was shocked. You know, sad. I, I feel it. You know. I, that's not, I think nobody wants to end up like that. It, it's sad, that's the word, but it's part of the job, you know. In football, we have injuries, in soccer, we have injuries, in fighter, we have injuries, you know. People break things, and that's part of the job, that's a contact sport, so. But I just feel it, I, because I know it's not about the injuries, how much he has to do to recover. It's just sad. Do you think at 38 years old, that might be the last we've seen of Anderson Silva? I, I don't know, man. Only he can talk about that. I'm focused on my jungle and dominating the cage and, and training and going back and just, you know, just fighting. I'm, I'm living my dream, you know, I'm getting that title. Are you That's what able I know. to fight in Vegas? I'm able to fight everywhere, man. I have everything by the book. Everybody knows. People cheat, people do that, but I don't. I'm very open, very loyal to, to my principles, and I'm ready. Como brasileiro, o que você pode falar para o Brasil? Porque assim, você sabe como brasileiro é. Adora criticar, já tem muita gente no Twitter falando que essa luta, enfim. O que você poderia falar para o Brasil como brasileiro, uma pessoa que conhece o Anderson tão bem como você conhece? O que eu posso falar para o brasileiro é valorizar o, o Brasil. O Brasil é muito bonito de ver a arena lotada, a arena cheia, torcendo. E eu acho que isso, o Brasil teve, tem, a gente tem muita tristeza na política, na corrupção. E a gente poder ver que o brasileiro, independente da raça, da cor, ele é brasileiro. Então eu, eu tiro o chapéu para o Brasil. O Brasil ele é um país maravilhoso. A maior riqueza do Brasil não é o petróleo, não é o pré-sal, é, é, é o povo. Como é que se derrota o Chris Weidman? Ganhando dele. É a sua vez? Já, já foi escrito já, nas estrelas. O que você acha que é a parte mais desafiadora de enfrentar o Chris Weidman? Onde é o mais perigoso? É difícil, sabe? Ele é bom. 
pretty good in, in all areas. It's just about being unpredictable. You know, they got to face something that you cannot study. They're in trouble. Você gostaria de enfrentá-lo no Brasil, Vitor? Em qualquer lugar. Aquele cinturão é meu. Eu sei disso. Happy New Year, everybody. Make good decisions, you guys. Enjoy your family, because next year we're all going to celebrate together. And I know we got all you guys in my corner. Thank you very much. Thank you.